This video is sponsored by Invato Elements. Now get 7 days free trial from Invato Elements. Check the first link in the description box. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlamelineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create a motion poster. So let's see what we will create today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition. Let's call it uh, motion poster and I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 24 and duration 7 second long then click on ok. Now create a background so right click new then click on solid and color I am going with this dark uh, gray color then click on ok now create a text so right click new then click on text let's type your text here I type in Nike let's make it bigger let's change the color to white now select this text then go to effect and preset window and search for transform now apply this effect onto this uh, text now skew amount set it to minus 12 let's make it little bit bigger now go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on uh, anchor point now select this text layer then press u now select this uh, keyframe then move it forward few frames forward now increase the x amount something like this now select this two keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like this perfect now select this text layer then press ctrl plus d twice now simply change the position something like this Okay, let's uh, adjust the timing a little bit. Looks good to me. Now select this three text layer, then right click, then choose pre compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to text. Then click on OK. Now go to effect and preset window and search for fill now select this effect and apply onto this layer now change the color to uh, maybe dark gray and then add drop shadow then simply now uh, distance at zero and softness um, for this change the color and increase the softness and set the opacity 30% looks good to me okay let's add our sneaker now simply select this uh, image and place it into this timeline let's make it bigger
looks good to me now go to beginning of this animation then select this uh, image then press p then set a keyframe on position now select this keyframe and move it few frames forward then go to beginning of this animation and then simply change the position now select this two keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then simply change the curves to something like this now go to around uh, 3 seconds and simply select the image and drag it down a little bit and hold alt then select this node and change the position then again go to end of this animation and change the position to something like this let's select this um, um, keyframe and move it around 4 seconds something around here now select all keyframes then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like this ok let's run preview this design better projects faster with inverter elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations photos audio files and more all with commercial license for extra peace of mind inverter elements will make any projects better while saving your time efforts and money get unlimited downloads with inverter elements and start creating today let's uh, move it forward few frames looks good to me okay now select this image and add a drop shadow on it then change the direction to maybe 230 degree and then increase the distance and increase the softness and opposite set it 100% okay now create a text layer so right click new then click on text let's type in sneaker now select this text layer and put it below the image now select this uh, text layer then press ctrl plus d and then change the position and double click and rename it to curve now simply change the color looks good to me now select these two uh, uh, text layer then press P now set a keyframe on position then move it few frames forward select this first text layer and then move it left side something like this and this select this second text layer then move it right side now select these two keyframes and press f9 then open graph editor and simply change the graph curve okay, 
let's adjust the position looks good to me okay now we are going to create a uh, line so go to toolbar and select uh, our paint tool then fill uh, turn off and increase the uh, stroke width let's uh, add a stroke something like that now select this uh, stroke and put it below the uh, text layer now simply select this shape layer then add trim path then open trim path now set a keyframe on end set it zero go forward few frames and in amount set it 100 then add a keyframe on start then again go forward few frames and start amount set it 100 now select all keyframes then press f9 then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve looks good to me okay now go to project window and create another composition now we set it 1080 1080 by 1080 then click on ok now go to toolbar and select ellipse tool then turn off stroke then turn on fill and color set it white then double click on this ellipse tool now create a text layer so right click new then click on text let's type 59 dollar let's make it bigger Let's change the color to maybe dark gray. Let's rename this composition. Go to composition and composition settings and rename it to uh, maybe price tag. Then simply click on OK. Now go to our main motion poster composition then select this uh, price tag comp and place it into this timeline then make it smaller something like this and change the position something around here now press S then set a keyframe on scale then move it few frames forward and then scale amount set it zero now select these two keyframes then press f9 then open graph editor and simply change the graph curve to something like this let's access the position Okay, now add a drop shadow on it. Then distance set it zero, 
and change the color maybe this color looks good and then increase the softness amount looks good to me okay let's uh, ramp view Our animation is complete. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.